Hey everyone, so today I am taking off from work. I um, decided to do a little bit of a mental health kind of day where I'm just kind of resting my brain. Um, I've had some pretty intense training going on and um, I just decided to take today off, which is Monday. Uh, Liz is finally back to school and um, so I thought I would actually get out my, um, this is my art journal that I made when I did the Medals in Love hop back in April, or March. And um, actually, I think that started in February. Wow, I am really late getting the prize packages out. I am really sorry, you guys. I am terrible at getting stuff out in the mail on time. I try to make up for it by adding nice things in the stuff that I'm mailing. But still, I should have had that stuff out, you guys. I really apologize that I have not gotten those mailed yet. I am planning on putting those together today so that I can get them in the mail tomorrow. However, back to this. I'm just going to do a little um, craft with me video. Um, I don't really have anything planned. Um, this is just something I got into the book. I plan on doing some decorating around it. But these are all um, works of art from Brooke, who is Recreations by Brooke. If you've ordered anything from her, you know that when she sends you stuff, she always includes some of her artwork on the envelope. This is a page I did myself, just collaging, just messing around with bits and pieces that I had um, in my project box from when I was doing the hop. So I just kind of threw that together. No big deal. No plan. Just gluing stuff down. Um, that I just did my list for my um, challenge that will be ending this week. And so now I'm on over to these pages where I have some more of um, more things from Brooke that I am going to uh, be gluing down into the book. I had to uh, size this down a little bit. To get it to fit so I just did rough tearing on the edges once I get it in the book I'm going to probably ink or paint around the edges there um, this one I might paint the page first like I said I don't really have a plan I just sat down and turned the camera on because I figured I'd do a craft with me with you guys and then this is the latest one that I got and I was so sad it did tear a little bit getting it off from the box but um so I'll be doing another page uh, with Brooke as well and then I've got all of these things that I've uh, been wanting to get into my book as well so I don't know if we'll do all these today um, I also wanted to do some pockets that um laura did some laura who is uh the jersey crafter she was doing some pockets one day that i really liked and so i was just going to make some of those today as well or something similar just to actually do some crafting because it has been so long since i um, have crafted anything so I am going to have to turn this just a little bit because my camera is not straight on so that I can um, see what I'm doing. But I will try to keep it in frame for you guys as well. I'm going to just do this one first because this is just a matter of simply uh, gluing it down. And where did... Here it is. I finally got some of the uh, art glitter glue. And I think I'm just going to use this to um, glue that down. I might go over the top of it with um, Mod Podge once I'm done. But um, well, that's not... There we go. It's because it's not wanting to come out. And maybe I'm just trying to be too heavy-handed with it because I'm used to applying a lot of glue. Who knows? Like I said, geez, it's been so long since I've crafted anything. I'm surprised I know how to do anything anymore. 
so find my pin found a straight pin the other day by uh stepping on it i would I can't get that back in the hole now Good Lord in heaven. Old eyes. Anyway, I, um, completely forgot what I was, I think I was going to do that the other way. I, um, yeah, can I talk and work at the same time? Probably not. <laughs> anyway, I was getting up off the couch and I caught it in my toe and, um, I'm glad I just kind of caught the edge of it. I didn't actually, um, you know, that it didn't go up inside my foot or anything. Or, you know, I'm glad it wasn't my daughter that actually found that. So, you know, that's a good thing. But I try to be really careful with those because um, when I was a kid, my mom got a needle embedded in her foot. And um, that was quite an ordeal for her. I can't remember if she ended up having to go to the doctor to get that out or if she finally got it out. But I just remember it was a big deal. And so now I always want to be really careful not to um, leave that stuff about so that it ends up in somebody's foot. So anyway, I try to keep track of straight pins and needles and all that kind of stuff. See, this is me trying to find a hole in my glue. There we go. Okay, so that is in. And I think I'm probably going to want to go over top of that just to protect it. I don't know, though. I don't want my pages to stick together, though. So maybe I won't. I don't know. I'm in such a habit of going over top of everything with Mod Podge that it's like I feel like I have to do it. But it's just going to be in my book. So it's not like it's going to be coming in contact with anything else. I might want to put... I might want to put a napkin down or something just to... um add some interest behind that. Got a bunch of napkins over here that were, um, I think they were sent to me by Isabel, who is crafting with Isabel Labori. But I kind of want something that is, um, oh, just decorative, not with a lot going on. You know what I mean? Let's see what this would look like. I just kind of want to see what that would look like underneath there. Might not be too bad. It's quite a bit with that though. Hmm. Well, that's a possibility. That might be a little bit too much if there is such a thing as too much color. Too much different color. What is this one? Oh, this is one of those ones that's only got color in one area. I'll try it. Yeah, no, that's not what I want either. Well, what else do we have in here? I may have to go to my bin of napkins if I don't see what I want. You know what? I don't think I set my microphone. Oh, well, I'm not going to change it now. Hopefully you can hear me all right. Usually I have to set my uh, settings so that it uses my actual standing microphone here. One of the pieces of new equipment I got, I got a new microphone. It's mostly for recording music, 
and you know singing but um i figured i have it i might as well use it for my videos too but i have to remember to select it when i you know before i start filming maybe something like this would be good it's a little bit more muted you know it's not rich vibrant colors which are already on here Let's see if this is big enough well then it's going to be i have to tear it and piece it but nah i don't like that either you know what maybe i won't put a napkin maybe i will just paint or do some, maybe I'll do some stenciling. That's going to pretty much cover the words. You know, I think I'm going to glue it down and then actually do some stenciling around it. I'm not sure how that's going to look, but that's what we're going to go with. So let's go ahead and put some glue on the back. Whoops, glue my finger while I'm at it. So what are you guys all doing today? I know a lot of you uh, are at home crafting during the day when I'm at work or going to uh, live chats. I um, was hoping that Laura was going to be live today so that, boy, that's stuck right down. Usually you have a minute to Okay, now, usually you have a minute to kind of make sure things are straight. I guess I can actually kind of tell when I look in my screen up here. Sometimes when the book's away from me too far, I can't really tell for sure if I'm straight. But in order for me to keep it where you guys can see what I'm doing, I have to have it away from me a little bit. Glue there. All right. Put this one down. So what was I saying? Oh yeah, I was hoping that uh, Laura would go live today, so I could actually um, get to uh, participate. Usually she's going live, and I'm at work, and I get the notification. I do see when she goes live. But, um, even if I'm, like, if we're riding a bus to go somewhere, which is probably the only time I would really be able to even put YouTube on my phone, otherwise I'm too busy. But, um, if we're on the bus, usually I can put it on and at least watch for a minute, but you can't hear anything. Those buses are too loud and I don't, um, usually have earbuds or headphones or anything to where I could hear it so um so I can't really hear what she's saying I can only see what people are typing so sometimes I do that for a quick minute you know you know what I just thought of I don't have any of my stencils upstairs they are downstairs I mean I have a couple that I had up here when I did the hot but it's too far away for me to really deal with right now so I might have to come back to this page and um, we might have to do the stenciling another day when I actually have them up here. I don't think I even have any stamps right handy that I could use. So let's just go ahead and keep um, putting stuff in. I have one more big picture of Brooks that I need to put in here. But I don't want to have it by itself. I think I have, whoopsie, I just dropped something. I think this is one of her, yeah. She always writes little notes on her invoices. And um, we just have this joke about, you know, me being a weirdo. Which, you know, I don't care. I am a weirdo. I own it. <laughs> 
I think uh, most creative people appear to be somewhat weird to your average, regular, everyday kind of people. So, I think it just kind of goes with the territory. I think our minds just work differently. And I'm okay with that. I've never um, been one to want to uh, be like everybody else, I guess. I might just kind of put this on top of that. I know I have more of these somewhere, but the thing is, if I put this on this page, what am I going to put on this page? Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is just my um, art journal that I, um, I'm putting things in it that I get from uh, my crafty friends or that I get from, you know, like shops I order from if they send me something that, um, that I can put in here, then I put it in. I'm not sure. I wish there was a way I could cover that up, but. Hmm. Oh, maybe I'll put this over here. Let's see. Just trying to think if I want it on the same page is this one because then it makes that really thick but um uh, I kind of think I want it more this way so I think I'll put it over here and what am I going to do right there maybe I'll put I've got some of her stickers too just trying to think what I'm going to do where this hole is right, right here. I could always put a flower there too. That would work. All right, well, let's go ahead and glue this down on this page. It seems so weird to have it so quiet in here. Usually there's TV or music or something on to uh, just have some background noise. My daughter's older now, so, you know, she's, it's not where I'm always hearing noise from her. Usually it's pretty quiet upstairs, even when she is home, because she's usually got her earbuds in when she's in, involved with her equipment, her her equipment, her technology. She has a, like a little notebook that I got her to uh, do her homework on. It seems like everything is on Google with uh, kids these days. A lot of them have those Chromebooks. And uh, the one that I got her is something like that, but it's where she can access everything she needs for school. So she's either on that or her um, Kindle. She spends a lot of time on YouTube as well. She likes all the, um, oh, I can't think which column right now. Of course not because I'm filming, so I can't remember what they're called. But she watches people playing games. She watches people watching other things, trying not to laugh, um, like challenges or whatever. So she has like her favorite YouTubers that she watches too, but she just watches them doing things other than crafting. So if she wants to be a filmmaker someday. So she'll probably be having a YouTube channel at some point just to kind of get her feet wet with doing videos that way. She always was a big fan of that TV show iCarly. And I think she always wanted to like have her own little show on YouTube, kind of like what, you know, she did on our on iCarly. But I'm, you know, I'm not one that really likes to have my kid on social media. And so she's never had like a Facebook or um, 
I, oh, that's got tape on it. She's never had Facebook or um, Instagram, uh, none of those social medias, because it just seems like she's always telling me about different friends having issues, drama, different things going on. So there's that aspect, as well as the fact that we know there's a lot of weirdos out there that try to entice young girls into um, harmful activities. So I just never really wanted her to get involved in that kind of stuff. So she's going to be 16 here pretty soon though. So she doesn't know this yet. And I don't think she watches my channel. So there's no chance of her finding out. But I've been thinking about getting her a camera of sorts. I don't know what kind yet. Nothing real, real expensive. But anyway, I've been thinking about getting her a camera and letting her start her YouTube channel. So, you know, we've talked about safety on the internet, safety on um, I lost my pin. Okay. Did I drop it? Did I move it when I was talking? Anyway, we've talked about safety and what you do and don't share and um, all that kind of stuff. I totally just lost that pin. Oh, that's a bummer. I don't want my bottle to get all jammed up either. I just had it right here. Which makes me afraid it fell on the floor. Let me check real quick and see if it's right here. If I don't find it right away, I'm not going to spend a bunch of time looking for it on camera. But It's got that white head on it too, so I should be able to... Good Lord. Well, all right. Guess I will have to look for that when I get done filming. All right. So the next thing I have is this note. Just want to see real quick if I have anything else from Brooke that I can. Um, um, that's trash. I don't think I do. I think that was... Yeah, anyway, so back to my daughter. That was just um, something I was thinking about doing for her birthday. I haven't even talked to her about it or mentioned it to her yet because I really haven't decided 100%, but I'm pretty sure that um, I'm going to let her get started with that. I mean, you know, she can't go off to college having had no experience whatsoever with any kind of... Um, filming or making any kind of films and stuff, you know, so, plus I think there's some classes at school that she can take that, um, are media related, so she'll probably want to do that too, I'm trying to think what I want to put with this, and it's probably kind of boring for you guys when I'm trying to just think things through and process what I want to put on here. I think I'm going to grab my bin of napkins. Reach it over here without actually getting up. I actually have this big container now of napkins. Remember when I was saying I don't have hardly any napkins at all? Look, I don't know if I can raise it up a little bit. See that? Full of all different sizes and styles of napkins so 
I do have a good selection now. I bought a bunch of them at the um, online sales. It's like anytime anybody had napkins, I was right there. Me, me, me. I need napkins. So, I want one of my bigger ones so I can cover the page. Oh, this is pretty. Let's see what that one looks like. Because I don't have a lot to put on this page, I can decorate it a little bit more. Oh, that is a huge napkin. I can't even get all that in the frame. Let's see. And this is kind of like a spring picture here, too. It's got the bunny. This side has the purple on it. Symphony of Spring. I love that. Okay. Yeah. I think we're going to go ahead and put this napkin on here. I don't know where any of my good scissors are. interesting things do I have to tell you guys about I really talked a lot in my video yesterday just kind of catching you guys up on where I've been and why I haven't done any videos it wasn't very usual for me to go a week without posting anything that's for sure and it kind of seems like I don't have as many people watching the videos as I used to you know and commenting and that kind of thing but one thing I've learned it definitely goes in it like ebbs and flows you know here on YouTube it can be going really strong and steady there for a little bit and then kind of drifts off a little bit and then it comes back I mean, definitely, you know, if you're a person that's trying to get your numbers up and care about that kind of thing, it can be kind of um, nerve-wracking because it fluctuates so much. It's like one minute you're moving up three or four people at a time, the next thing you're losing people, and it just bounces all over the place. It's not really a big concern of mine. I mean, I'm not super focused on having lots of subscribers and all of that. I think it really takes a lot before you are at a point where it's a value as far as like, you know, if you want to be demonetized or whatever, but that was never really a reason for me to start my channel. Honestly, I kind of wanted a platform to um, sell things that I make, but um, I find myself working so much that it's very rare that I have a lot of time to make things to sell. I'm lucky if I can, you know, participate in challenges and stuff and uh, get stuff sent out. So, but that is the goal. I do plan on selling stuff. It's just, you know, whenever I have the time. So I certainly rarely keep the things that I make. I mean, I don't generally make things for myself. I do need to get some journals made for my kids, so I had this idea to um, make, um, especially for my son who has Asperger's, I had I have planned to make, um, I'm looking for my Mod Podge, to make a journal for him that has a lot of, um, oh, I found another thing from Brooke, another note that I can put on there. Anyway, um, he relies a lot on me for um, keeping him grounded and um, 
Oh, you know what? I just saw another. Or is that the one I'm working? Oh, no. oh, it's the same one. I have two of those. That's why it was down there. Um, anyway, geez, oh, peace. Could I gather myself together here? Um, there's a lot of things that I say to him over and over to help keep him calm and focused and not getting caught up in what I call stinking thinking. You know, you spend too much time by yourself reflecting on things. It's really easy to get into a negative thought pattern. So, I always remind him, you know, because we are people of faith, I remind him to stay focused on God and to remember that God has a plan and, you know, just stuff like that to remind him that we're not in this alone. You know, that we do have someone helping us and, um, oh, that's right. I'm like, where are all my brushes? I forgot I put them in a jar. Um, to remind him to talk to God and take things to God and just stuff like that. So, um, this is what I did with my paint brushes. I got this container and I put them all in that because I thought it'd be cool to have them sitting out on my desk. Well, yeah, then I go back to look for them in the drawer where I used to have them. Anyway, so anyway, I want to make him a journal. Oh, this is lovely. My thing fell inside my jar. Um, so I want to make him a journal, probably in a hunting theme of sorts, or outdoors or something like that, combination of the two, or a farm one. He, he likes farm type stuff too. And um, put these different things that I say to him in pockets and tuck spots and stuff like that. And different um, scriptures and just to make it like a, a journal that he can go to basically after I'm gone. When he doesn't have me anymore, I want him to have something to remind him of me, to remind him of the things that I say to him. So that he has that available. So I hope that will be helpful for him. I mean, I don't plan on going anywhere for quite a while yet. But we know tomorrow's not promised. And, you know, we never know when our time is up. And I just don't want my kids to be left without something from me to turn to on a daily basis to help them through. Because I'm all they've got. And they do rely heavily on me for everything. You know, and as they get older, they're getting better and, and all of that kind of thing. Their normal growth and development. But I just want them to have something, you know, like I said, that they can refer to. And my daughter knows that, you know, as she gets older, that... You know, some of the role that I play will become her role. You know, that Justin may need her in the future. And she's okay with that. You know, it's not like I'm putting a, a burden on her or something like that. I mean, she, oops, I just totally peeled that napkin off right there. Um, she knows that her brother is going to need her at times. I mean, not a lot. He's he's pretty good on his own, but you know, he I don't want him to be left completely alone without someone to be able to go to if he's not sure of something or you know, needs help with something or whatever and and I'm sure there will be things that you know, he can help her out with. He's not without his own set of gifts as well. So, um Anyway, long story short, short story long, <laughs> however you want to look at it. Sometimes I just talk on and on. But anyway, those are journals that I do want to get done that are not ones that, you know, will be made to sell. And I probably should get started on them before I do anything else because of the fact that we don't know when's going to be our last day not trying to be morbid here or anything but just real you know just realistic 
So those are just some things that I need to get going on that must have dried while I was talking. Now see, if I was doing this for a project for somebody else, I'd be a little more worried about how um, messy this napkin is going on. But part of the problem is I'm trying to talk and work at the same time. Apparently I can't do that. <laughs> Some days I struggle to walk and chew gum too, you know. So <laughs> I think my Mod Podge is drying underneath before I'm getting it down. And that's part of the problem. But um, I don't care if it looks a little rough. I want to try some of that uh, golden um, matte finish. Laura had got some of that that she had seen somebody else using. And tried it and was talking about what a nice finish it has and stuff. And um, I thought I'd like to give that a try too. That's usually what I do. I see somebody else using something or doing something. I'm like, hey, I want to give that a try. That looks cool. That's really how I've evolved with my art too. I mean, it's just I see somebody else doing something and I think, I think I can do that. Let me give that a try. I mean, I started out just doing um, paper crafts and now I'm doing mixed media and steampunk and metals and, you know, all kinds of stuff. So I do want to dry this just a little bit. So let me... Oh, yeah, I have a new tool caddy. That's where it was. It's in my tool caddy. That's something else I was going to show you guys. I don't know if I can raise it up far enough. Turn it, maybe. There we go. I got that tool caddy. They had them, um, <coughs> excuse me, they had them on sale at um, Michael's when they had their, um, Hang on, we're coming back in. <coughs> they had their, um, what did I say it was, 70% off? Something like that sale. Now I don't have my camera set right for what I was doing. It's kind of cool to have this webcam because I can do stuff like that and move it around. But, um, there we go. i got to get you guys back in frame. But anyway, my heat tool was in there. Like I said, I, you know, got this stuff all set up and I haven't crafted. So, it's like, I don't know where anything is. Let me get this plugged in. And I didn't really, like, prepare ahead of time before I turned the camera on. I just thought, well, I've been wanting to do a craft with me. I'm just going to sit down and do some of this with you guys, you know. Okay, here we go. It's going to be loud. Or it's not because it's not going to work. <laughs> Oh, let's see. It must be my extension cord is not plugged in. Hold on. i got to get you a pile of stuff to find my outlet. Or maybe it's off. I don't know if it's on. Oh, yep. I'm not plugged in. Good Lord in heaven. Can't find the holes. Standing on my head. All right. Good night. Oh, boy, that was harder than it should have been. There we go. one of the worst jobs I've ever done putting a napkin down on anything.
that would not be okay if I was doing that for a project or anything else. I don't mind wrinkles, but I certainly don't like it when it tears and these holes. Alright. Like I said, not my best job, but that's alright. It's in there. Okay, now I have this one, and then I found this other one. So let's, no, let's not cut it. Let's tear it. I'm just tearing it around where the writing is. If you guys care to see that or not, it's nothing major. It's just tearing around the words. Nothing uh, too difficult about that. So let's put that one there. We'll put this one over here. Let's do it like that. Okay. And since I got the Mod Podge out, let's just go ahead and glue it down that way. I'm just putting it on the back of the paper. Whoops! Ah! Go over there. Okay. Put this one. Put it this way. And hear my shelf rattle, and I think I've got my table touching my shelf. So when my table shakes, it makes my shelf shake too. That was something else new I got. Let me show you guys that. See that shelf over there? I took my uh, sorry pieces and I put them in those jars up there. And then um, I got some books there and my metal pieces, my beads, and then my sewing machines there. I also got this cart right here. I'm going to go through that and show you guys. Laura had wanted to see that. Isn't that cool? I can't remember where I got that from. I think I got the, you know what? I think I got that from Michael's too when they were having that sale. But anyway, I got my little area all kind of, uh, I don't know what am I trying to say. Here, let me do this a little differently. Got my area a little bit more organized than what I had it. I got my camera all wanky now. Sorry, you guys. I probably shouldn't do that right in the middle of filming. There we go. Um, but anyway, I just figured while I was thinking about it, I'd zoom over there and show you. But anyway, that shelf is shaking when I'm moving stuff on the table. I think they're kind of touching somehow. All right. Put this one right there. I really didn't want to put my Podge on that. Alright, I'm going to go over the top of that. Just kind of seal it down into the napkin a little bit. So nothing real major today, just putting the stuff down in this book. Whoop. Before I do the pockets, I'm going to get a little bit more organized because um, I do want to decorate those and kind of do a start to finish kind of video. So, all right. So I think that's where we're going to end this for today. I'm just going to dry this and then um, I'm going to get some more coffee and look for that pin. See what the heck I did with that so my glitter glue doesn't get all blocked up. But anyway, um, thanks for joining me you guys and I will see you next time. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.